Hello there guys and welcome back to Savvy Ruined Campaigns. So today we are going to play as Brandenburg and first of all let's hear what is the situation. This is Levik. I started a campaign as Brandenburg. At first everything went fine. I took some lands from Bohemia and then conquered Pomerania. But after that war I was really weak and got attacked by Bohemians for revenge. Together with Poland they reconquered their provinces and made me give back the Pomeranian lands. Now that Castile was in a war with France I thought I could snipe some provinces they inherited but then I got attacked by Pomerania and Bohemia. This is why I ask you to rescue this save. Hope you can do this. Your Zellery. Alright, so we are in the save game right now. As you can see, we are playing as Brandenburg in 1502, and you can see that we are at war with Castile, Bohemia, uh, Pomerania, Aragon, Portugal, Naples, and everything around. So, let's see. There are two wars. As you can see, the, yeah, the player, the owner of the save was playing in German language, I think. And so, the first war was started by Pomerania which declared a war on us to conquer, conquer Uckermark. Uckermark is a province uh, over here. We do not have any fort on this province, so it might be problematic to defend this. So this, this is the first one it was started just right now. The second war against Castile was also started just a few months ago probably, and it was started by us. We, with the help of Saxony, are fighting against Castile, Aragon, Naples and Portugal. I don't think it was a great idea. Uh, yeah, the advantage on the side on the amount of troops is giant. So this war is the, the one that we definitely want to end as quick as possible. The second war as Pomerania, we have a little bit of an advantage. So I think what my strategy will be over here is to try to rush Brunsch Brunswick, so this province that we are standing on, I'm going to rush it to get the war goal against Por against the Castile and then I will go back maybe crush Pomerania and Bohemia we will try with the help of our allies let's hope they will help us and I will try to wipe this Castile why I uh, in the meantime I'm going to piss out Pomerania and Bohemia for something for us so what we are going to do at the very beginning is to check out uh, the states Mm, 49 and I don't think I can give them any provinces. I can I can develop this one Yeah, let's develop this province now. They should have uh, 14 39.3 Let's develop it farther more now. It's 39 2.3. I think it needs uh, to wait for the next month Then they will update and I'm pretty sure it will be over 40% after this uh, from the nobility we can definitely take uh, we can definitely take a general, I know, about this 100%. We can take manpower from this 100% and then we can t just take one of the provinces from them. The province with iron should not be in the hands of nobility. So let's take that. Now they have 86. I know, I know, but that's not a problem. Now that we have a lot of manpower, we can use that and build uh, 2000 cavalry and take a loan or maybe money. Oh yeah, 45. So it updated. Let's increase that, take this, take this. Now from this money I can also build one stack of artillery. So we're going over the force limit, but that should be just alright. So I'm getting to speed free. I definitely do not need any fleet. So let's delete the fleet. And let's begin the fun. Yeah, standing over here without any general might not be a great idea. But for now, at least Castile is not coming to crush us. So we should use it, build those freaking troops as fast as possible, uh, get this fort and take care of those stacks of- Oh my freaking god! Protocol runaway, activate! Yes! Uh, that's my- Ooh, oof, 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 oof. Yeah, they stack wipe my 1000. Let's get those thousands. Uh, what's that? I would like to get some church power, please. Yes, thank you. So we have 14,000. So let's get uh, let's get to this province. Let's get a general. Yes, they've crushed one of our new cavalry stacks. Okay, so they are touching to me. That's really great. Uh, one five leader. Let's take him. Let's take the next idea and increase our morale. Now we have 4.3, which is one of the best morals in the world. 
and I'm going um, 16th, 14th, 19th. They're running away to Neumark and Graysvart. So this one and this one. We should be able to catch them in Graysvart. Let's go there. Oh yeah, hello there. That should be a stack wipe. Yes, first stack wipe. Let's go farther. Go to Neumark. And in Neumark, it should be a stack wipe as well. Yes, thank you so much. We have already 12% of the war score here. Um, okay, I need to remember who is attached to me. It's Denmark and Sax. Just Denmark. So, I Denmark would not be helping in any battles against Castile. So, I can't use them really. Uh, let's go to the capital of Pomerania, maybe. Uh, yeah, you can detach out of me, that's not a problem. I should also build um, one stack of cavalry because we just have one stack. Let's build the second one. Shift consolidated the troops, uh, delete this 1000 of our uh, infantry, yes, and build a mercenaries on the. <coughs> Sorry, build mercenaries on their place. So we can do also. Uh, we do not need to stand with so many troops on this on this fort. Yeah, also take this one. 5,000 will be just right. Let's stand with everything else next to it. And you can see that the, the Bohemian troops are already coming to us. Okay, so no, I, what I'm going to do, what I plan to do, is to take this fort in Stettin. And when, when we take this fort in Stettin, I'm going to get the branch fig. Uh, at least, you know, to help Saxony in getting it. Because if they get stack wiped, that might be problematic in our war against Castile. We don't want to be stack wiped. Or our allies to be stack wiped. Oh, definitely not. Oh, no, 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 that was a misclick! Shit. Shit. I misclicked. Yeah, I wanted to get this stack on Stolp. And instead of that, I, I went with the whole army over there. <laughs> that was a shitty mistake. But that's not a problem, we can... Uh... Yeah, I'm not restarting, definitely. Uh, I don't need to restart my game. We have three siege generals, so... This, yeah, this should be quick. It's already 21%. So, okay, let's get a general on the second stack. This is our heir. We don't want, you can see our queen is pretty great. We don't want her to die. But the king is just right to. Uh, the, the heir is just right to die. I would like him to die. We can't disinherit him because of our prestige. I bet that this prestige is so low because the owner of the save decided to go protestant, which was a great idea. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't need this fleet as well. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Saxon is already... Yeah, they have been stack wiped. That was stupid. Okay, we've got Stettin. So 20% of the war score. So what I can do now is to get those post stacks and go fight Bohemia. Fuck. Yeah, I'll, or just... Okay, let's just go around here. Maybe I'll stack wipe somebody, maybe not. Let's try stack wiping somebody. Yeah, at least uh, 4,000 4, would be great for a start because I'm sure that I'm going to stack wipe them. Yes. Now let's go. Whoa. Okay. Let's stay with the free siege guys So this one on the fort. And the rest of the army will be just staying. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, I understand. Okay. Because, yeah, I need to stand here with my whole army. Uh, because only Saxony might help me in this uh, any sieges against Castile. So maybe it's 45,000 uh, over here in this province, but in reality it's way less because if Castile attacks me here, I will just f on my own. Okay, let's get more morale. So now, right now we have 4.5. Let's maybe check out the army qualities of the of our enemies. So. Yes, Castile has slightly better morale, but you have like better discipline. And Castile is also at war with France, so that's actually not bad. Yes, France is fighting them. So when Castile gets um, uh, the medium or low attitude of the war, and I will be handling the war goal, it's even possible that we might even take Braunschweig in this war. That would be amazing, though. Yeah, Bohemia just rushed the fort in Stettin. That's harsh. Okay, let's maybe... Oh, okay, okay, I'm just staying here with my whole army. I know I'm dying from the attrition, but that's what I need to do because... Yeah, I would not be able to siege the, the province without all the troops. Because as you can remember, the rest of the armies that are staying with me are not participants in this war against Castile. But this fort might actually go down... Yes, right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Mm, is to go, re yeah, recover Statin. Maybe I will even stack wipe the Bohemian troops in the meantime. 
Um, let's see. I was stuck by them here. No, they're running away. Okay, but you can't escape me. Oh, come on, okay, they've escaped. <laughs> Split and a half, go on this fort. Detach siege, go on to the second fort. Yeah, just go. And uh, get a second leader. And let's do this. Yes, hello, bro. I'm going to catch you. I'm going to kill you. Maybe not a stack wipe even. Oh, that was a stack wipe. What a happy event to happen. To happen. Okay. At least you can see that Bohemians are running around in the Dan Danish provinces. So that's good for me because in the meantime I might take care of I might take care of Pomerania and then Bohemia. As far as I remember, let's check out this save. We have cores. Yeah, here we have cores on Bohemia. We should use them. Um, what would be the cost of taking my cores from Bohemia? Um, those three would be 34 aggressive expansion. What if I take it? I can check it out. So we just free. Yeah, if I take it on the war against Pomerania, it might be even useful. What is our debt, by the way? We have just one. Oh my god, we have just one loan. We are over our false limit, aren't we? Yes, we are. Um, okay. 7%, 35%. I should take both force pretty quickly. Let's just hope uh, that those 22,000 will be not coming to us because we would be crushed pretty easily. At least Ma Ma Munster is taking uh, the capital of Bohemia, so we might get a lot of war score from that. In the meantime, Denmark is crushing the troops. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, Amazing job guys. Good job. And we have 2% against this. This is just 2 per per 6% to take. Okay, so Okay, is this decent my, my war? Yeah, it is Let's maybe unite those troops um, Get the mercenaries and get them uh, the leader and the forge should go down easily right now quickly easily in a second What's that? Um, nobility doesn't like me in any way, so I'm taking army professionals from them. And yeah, that's down. We have 27% in this war. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go occupy the forts of Bohemia. This one is going down soon. Let's hope that... Yes, they finished it. Um, did that siege? Um, let's send maybe oh, those troops onto the fort in Leibniz. And we are going to get way more war score right now. So what I want to take from this war is at least my course. We'll see what is the cost. The cost of my course is 46% and just 10% of aggressive expansion. So we might take anything else over here. Uh, let's take this to unite, uh, unite uh, the area. So let's maybe take this one. This would be 31 aggressive expansion, which is just perfect because I also want to take a province from Castile. But what else we might do with Castile? We don't not need to take the province in the war. We might either white piece them or take money. Or at least war operations. War operations would be amazing instead of taking a province without aggressive expansion. So let's take as much as possible from uh, the Pomerania and from Castile we are going to take money. Okay, that's the plan. Oh, that's a long way to go there. Okay, so the light reader is on the siege, but they don't have any artillery. So let's get artillery onto the siege and let's get out some of infantry from over there. Yeah, let's get more war score. Definitely. Great. Great. That's minus 21%. They're gathering the troops around, but they're still, they still too weak. Okay, I would probably not be able to win with those troops. Well, let's maybe try ourselves. Oh my god, 23,000 coming. Okay, at least they weren't on time. Okay, let's maybe go unite our troops around here. Um, Army traditional stability. Um, we, I think I'm ahead in the technologies, yes. The cost of coring will be 256. Um, so we might actually... No, let's lose army tradition. Our army tradition is 51, we regained without any problems. We definitely need to decrease war exhaustion, increase stability. TQS once again, and the civil war should be not loading anymore. Great. Great, great, great. Portugal is trying to regain the... Oh my god. Castile is just crushing France. How? How are you doing that? Just 
Castrix, 50,000 troops. We want them. We want to wipe these indefinitely. Okay. Um, let's get some, an advisor for uh, administrative power. Um, and let's get a focus on the administrative. We don't need that much, m that many military points. We do not. Um, and let's maybe take one more less province from this war. Yeah, I think when I take down this fort, we'll be free to go. Uh, church power, okay, let's get church power. Um, so we should be able to get something. Yeah, we can already do anything over here. Let's see, production efficiency, manpower, prestige. I need a lot of prestige right now, so that's what I'm going to take. All right. All right zero, 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 come on. 21%. Let's just hope that Praha will not go down before like needs. That would be a little bit problematic. Just 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 a little bit. It's 35% against zero. So if they go down quicker, I would just ugh, I would be really angry. Especially that my uh, that my leader is has free siege. They has just zero. Oh come on guys, we can't lose it. Yeah, I need to, I need to rush to this Portugal stack to stop them from uh, from getting back branch mic. Okay, <laughs> they just got that back, and now just Praha should go back down and everything will be just <laughs> fun and perfect. Okay, we managed to get the fort. We can piece them out. Let's take maybe a little bit of the money. Oh, that's like nothing. Let's um, okay, okay. Let's take. That's better than nothing. That's like one more of my loans. Okay, aggress expansion check. It's not that bad, and our our borders are now beautiful. We've got just 50 new development. Okay, let's get into one province, and we are going to rush and get back Braunschweig. Okay, so let's rush them. Oh, come on, um, mission fulfilled. High income, construction cost. I don't want to take it. We can definitely take this. It's a new state, core the provinces. Let's do this. So we've gained those three provinces and those three provinces. So we have a lot of new development right now. So what I'm going to do is, of course, rush it. Shift consolidate the troops on the siege. Rush it. Yes, that's down. We have six percent of the war score. Let's go farther. Of course. Okay, um, I'm united. When I'm united with Saxony troops, um, my amount of uh, troops is pr practically pretty good. And what should I do? Is shift consolidate the troops. Okay, we need to build more mercenaries. Let's get one more stack of mercenaries. Yes, Papal State loan. I, I don't want any loans from you. Not from the Pope. Oh, come on. I'm Protestant. I can't take a loan from you. That's 7%. So, we should think about just white piecing them. What? Why can't I go? Um, this beautiful nation should give me a military access. You will not. Uh, what about this one? Yes, you will. So come on, class. Thank you so much. Let's go slowly. Let's start with Breda. We'll see the quality of the troops. As you can remember, they have a lot of. Um, they have a lot of what? Uh, morale. Yeah, they have. Oh, new age of reformation just started. I'm fulfilling John the reformation, and that's it. Comfort provinces. It will take some time. Nope. Nope. Definitely nope. This, I might do this later. That would be great. Mm, missionary strength. I don't need any more missionary strength for now. We have three provinces to convert, but they are being caught. So they just need more time. Okie doke. Let's maybe get uh, Cavalli out of the siege. Uh, maybe just consolidate the troops, not shift consolidate. And those will be. Looming disaster will be civil war. That's because my national address is over zero, but I just need to uh, go to just uh, core those provinces, so it'll be alright. Mm. No, I'm taking the military technology right now, definitely. They have ninth, so I might lose badly in case of the attack on me. Oh, I'm blind. Let's hope I'll be able to run away here. Let's, this will be on 16th. 16th main, go back to the rest of the army. That was stupid. Just consolidate the troops. We don't have manpower to shift consolidate and regain the troops. Okay, so this fort is on 0%. Let's hope they'll be not trying to attack us. We have 9% of the war score. They are getting. Oh, thank you so. K 
Okay. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. Show them the, our strength. Yeah, our troops are pretty good. Oh. Maybe they are. Pre I can peace out Portugal. Oh, yeah. Peace out Portugal. Nice. Now it's 11% of the wars because you're not getting back this province anymore. But I'm going to be crushed. Oh my god, so freaking much. When I will be able to run away? 13th August. 1, 2, 3. Let's just go back home, guys. Oh yeah, we need the technology. And those rebels uh, will be... Oh my god, they'll be everywhere. 20,000. That might hurt. That might hurt. Okay, but with help of uh, Saxon troops, I'm going to crush those 10,000. Uh, but should I take the military technology first? It will be like in a few months. Okay, so let's let's wait. Let's go back to Saxony, help them re regain the provinces. Mm, maybe should consolidate part of the troops, delete those guys, um, build some some mercenaries on their place. Uh, take some manpower from professionalism. Oh, I can't. I don't have enough to take it. Ah. What's that? No burlables. Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. Get those guys on the one place. Yes, come on, guys. We should crush them. That's 10% of the war score. So let's regain this province. And when we regain it... Come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to crush those troops in Braunschweig. <gasps> Oh my god, seriously, I didn't see them, I haven't seen them, no, we should run away, 11th, okay, don't worry guys, you're just taking, Fra ah, they already pissed out France, so what would you like from me to piss out 34 against 39, so they'll be taking all the power against me, suggest so peace offer is just giving them 84 ducats, just like nothing, accept it, thank you so much, that's what I like. Okay, get on. Uh, I'll be waiting for the rebels right now, so I'm not uh, disbanding my mercenaries yet. Uh, I can get a new rivals. That might be, for example, Magdeburg, Lübeck, Livonian Order. That's interesting. Sweden. Mm. Let's get Lübeck. That would be great to conquer Lübeck later. Let's take the military technology, new troops. Let's take the offensive ones. Um, I could be able to take next economic, economic idea, but we should get back in the technology. So maybe in this episode I'll be able to form Prussia. Why not? Uh, the colonialist is not coming soon to us. That's unfortunate. Mm, okay, but it will, it, it will come sometime. I'm Europe, I don't need to develop, develop uh, the freaking prizes. Let's make a claim over here. Okay. So I should use my diplomats right now to improve relations with outreach countries. Let's, yeah, let's use both of them. Right, so we are waiting for the rebels right now. There will be a lot of them, like 20,000 as far as I remember. 24,000. That's a little bit too much for us. We should decrease, increase the alpha, I mean, decrease the chance of uh, getting the rebels. So it will be Berlin and Potsdam. I can't increase autonomy in Berlin, but I can in Potsdam. Um, and also Prignitz. Prignitz is just like over here. So right now it will be 19,000. That's still too much. Probably Altmark and, and Uckermark. Uh, let's definitely turn off the forts to save some money. And Altmark and Uckermark. Altmark is here. Where the hell is Uckermark? That's here. I don't think I can... Yes. I can't really help it. Berlin and Altmark. Right now it will be like 16,000. Freaking Berlin. Let's split this. One stack will be going to one province, a second to second province. So right now we have just 11,000 of rivers. That's alright, I can take care of it. Uh, we should increase the stability of our country somehow. What is decreasing it? War exhaustion, legitimacy, robber baron, something. Religious unity. Um, I will be using this soon. Austria decreed on Hungary. Oh, what, what, what the hell happened to Hungary? <laughs> That's sad. Poland. Poland doesn't have a union with Lithuania. They have an alliance. Weird word over here. 
Okay, so right now in this save, what I'm going to do is to decrease our, our aggressive expansion round and delete, of course, the the mercenaries. Get back some money. Yes. Uh, take back the technologies because I would like to form Prussia today. That would be great. We've played just seven years, so we just need a few more. Um, nothing interesting for you to take here. I can definitely stay this province. Every forms. Uh, get me giving prestige. We need to get back in prestige, definitely. So just need two technologies. And what else to form Prussia? We need Krulevitz. So we need to conquer a province from Poland. That might not be easy as, as long as they ally to Lithuania and Bohemia. So I think I will not form Prussia today, unfortunately. But let's see. Maybe we have any potential big allies. I think France should like us. Um, Bavaria is not a big ally. Uh, France. Uh, let's see. Let's see how do it work with France. Stop improving relations with one of the countries. Let me see. France, Mr. France, do you feel so good? Come on, let me show it. 47 against 76. Mm, that's not really close to happen. Oh, give me some more countries. It might be, oh, military form. That's something that we would like to use against Poland. But. We can't really attack Poland by ourselves. Austria. Austria probably doesn't like us. Eh? Yeah, that's not even close. I can get an alliance with Bavaria. Let's get it. Uh, are we ahead in the military technology? I think we are. Yes, we are. So we can take the military ideas now. Let's go farther with those. Oh, give me some money, definitely. We are getting some those right now. How many of them? Rostock and Wismar. We can just increase our phone in, in those provinces. This will be um, Rostock and Bismarck. Yeah, I don't want to fight rebels right now. We don't have resources for that. So over here I can take advisor cost, leader cost or administrative free places. At this point of the game and praying as Prussia, yeah, the leader cost will be definitely the best one to take. And over here nothing interesting. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, we are gaining the manpower, we're gaining the money. We have just 400 dead. That's alright for the wars that we've had. <laughs> it could be way worse, way worse, and it could could be a little bit better. Yeah, it, it could be played a little bit better. I didn't have to lose so much money on that. So what is this? Uh, Stratpult and Stolp. We can increase our autonomies on those points as well, but for now we don't need to do that. As far as the, the rebel faction is just 70%. When it gets to 90, I'm going to increase the autonomy. Min maxing the losers, you know, guys. Okay, so now the speed 5, we are getting back the technologies, which will be pretty quick. Uh, knowing that our queen is 666, as you remember. 666. Reformations is, uh, reformation, uh, is out, but. Oh, National Bank. So this event is uh, linked to economic ideas. So, what we should take? Mm, interest per annum or real inflation reduction. I think I will take interest per annum because we have a lot of loans. So yeah, our inflation will be all zero. Let's take it. Yeah, you can see our balance is way better. I can repay three of our loans. We have just 200 of that right now. Uh, we can take the next economic idea, but I'm not doing that because we are taking the next technology, I think. But I should think about it. And uh, diplomatic. Um, because what will be the first policy that we are going to take? Yeah, the, uh, what's that? Aristocratic coup. Um, okay, so the influence will decrease. Uh, 1522, 42, 1512. Okay, so it will decrease in a few months in October. Yeah, when the granted generalship will end. So that's not a problem. Yes, just right now it's 87. That's just right. I can take some money from the burgers. Let's take it. Repay more of our loans. Our income is already 10. Now it will of course decrease because of our trade power decrease, but it's not like that. Okay, so I'm thinking, should I finish my ideas? Because can I take one, two, three, four? No, I can't take this from those ideas. What the hell is my bunny doing? She's trying to diverse my 
my green screen. I'm thinking about taking this idea because this technology because I don't need temp administrative technology right now. We can okay. I'm going to take it because I'm going to spend get the new idea grab and get something from diplomatic. Yeah, that would be that would be good, good idea. Alrighty, so we're again out of manpower. We can uh, recover most of our troops, those three thousand men that are waiting to uh, come back to the army. And we should think about next goals for us to do. What about taking the rest of the Pomeranian provinces? Our truce with them ends in 1520, so in six years they'll still ally to Bohemia, of course. What about Poland? Munster would help me against Poland, but we are too weak to take them by ourselves. Uh, what about Denmark? Denmark has... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. The aggressive expansion is going down quickly, probably, is it? It's 32, 17, yes. Mm. We should check out Poland. Uh, Poland, Poland, Poland troops. Poland has 28,000, so that's way too much for us. Even for our quality, we have still 16 force limit. So we can't really fight them. Mm. I'm thinking about fighting uh, Lübeck. Lübeck is part of the trade league. It, those, those are not really strong allies. We'll be a little bit outnumbered, but that's not problematic. Let's build uh, spy network of them. We have claims. Okay, so that's good. So, who would help them? Bremen, Hamburg, and Magdeburg. I'll be helped by Munster and Saxony. That This would increase our income significantly, getting some more trained power in the Lübeck. So, I think that's what I'm going to do next. Um, but we have 30 minutes, so we, we might do something really crazy. So, as we have some time, we can wait those five years of the truce against Pomerania, destroy them, break the alliance between Bohemia and Poland, and go after Poland. But we should get an alliance with one of the Polish uh, enemies, which is Moscow, uh, Austria, Ottomans. I don't think any of those nations would like to be our ally. Um, not really, that's not even close. Uh, what about Austria? Austria. Austria is a little bit closer, but still, that's not that. Okay, I can turn off the army already, repay more of the loans. Now we have just two loans for 140 ducats. That's great. Now I think I can increase the alpha in both of those provinces. Um, yeah, let's do this. Military power, yeah, let's give me military power. Great. We can take the next economic idea or no. We are waiting for the technology right now. So, we are regaining the money, we are getting the technologies, and we are going to crush everyone, yes. Prussian space marines are slowly getting ready to crush you guys. This would be amazing. So, I think I might be actually that crazy, and I'm going to form Prussia. But to form Prussia, I need to defeat Poland. I'm going to do that. I think I might have a way to do it. Yes. When I attack Pomerania and I will call Saxony, they should be able to. Yeah, they have a lot of. I have a lot of favors of that. So when I declare Pomerania in four years, I will ask Saxony to help me. So Saxony will be helping me, Bohemia will be at war with him, against me. So neither Bohemia or Saxony will have Poland. The only disadvantage of that is that <laughs> nobody will be able to help me. So I will be I need to be really crazy and will have really crazy uh, crazy bonus to the army. This will end soon in 1520. So I will not use that definitely. But I'm crazy. Let's do this. Let's do this. I will, I will have to solo Poland and Lithuania. So Poland as said has 30,000. They have they might have way more. And uh, the morale is right 3.8, so it's it's garbage. It's garbage. What about Lithuania? Lithuania morale is uh, also 3. Point... It's even less, it's 3.3. .3. Oh my god, and the army is 30,000. So I'll be fighting against around 60 to 70,000 troops. With... Okay, I will need to go way over my force limit or increase my force limit significantly. We need to do both. We need to do both. That will not be easy. Maybe Denmark will help us. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, why would Denmark not help me right now against Poland? Saxony would not join. That's great. Bohemia would. Uh, Denmark. Destabilize Denmark. They have truth with Poland. Do they? They don't have truth with Poland. So what's the problem? Destabilize? How that would destabilize you? Okay, we take care of that. We need definitely to make a claim on Poland if you want to conquer them. So let's get that slowly. I don't need this admiral. And this is the same mission that I can take, so nothing changed here. Let's get this, let's get this. We are ahead. Mm, nothing changed here. And yeah, that's the new cavalry. And also new artillery. That's amazing. It's amazing. And I can take the new idea group, which will be diplomatic. And I'm going to take um, diplomatic ideas. This will be really helpful to get the diplomatic reputation, improve relations, more relations limits. Uh, province war score cost is so freaking good. Okay, so any personal unions to get? Not really. Uh, nothing that I, I can do. Alright, great, great, great. We are going to form Prussia today. We ha still have like 25 minutes to do that. Castile is de 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 just deleting France once again. Can I get any new alliances? Any strong new alliances? Make it happen. No, thank you. Um, not really. Austria. How close is Austria? Sweden is just minus 7. Um, so... Ah, Sweden is not a real nation. <laughs> I thought they are strong. <gasps> Lithuania is being deleted by Moscow. That's good. So they will probably not accept a call. Poznań. Let's go for Poznań. Let's check out. Because, yeah, Lithuania might not accept yeah, the call for war. So, yeah, that's really close. But just me and Munster. Is Poland in this war? Uh, uh, no, they are not. What is this war? Uh, Moscow, the conquest of... In okay. Uh, because that that's... That's not against Lithuania, is it? Yeah, it's against Lithuanian order. Okay. So if Lithuania have a lot of problems in this war, they should not accept any calls into the war for a long time. So my strategy to attack uh, Pomerania might actually work because I will just one versus one versus against Poland. Okay. So let's turn, off, turn on our troops. Bleed some army. We definitely need more artillery. Just 1000 is not enough. Let's get three more thousands of artillery. This will be 12. Let's get one more thousand of infantry. Mm, maybe get more money. And uh, nope. Get uh, a loan and get two more thousand of. three more thousand of mercenaries. And we are going to work right now. Really strong. Okay, uh, I can invest in an administrative one. Let's get it. Yeah, that's early army tradition uh, decay for us. So it's decreasing a little bit slower. Administrative power, ducats. Give me ducats. That's what I need right now. Unite the armies. Turn. I'm going to turn on the forts right now. Our truce with Pomerania ends in like November. Okay, so we are ready. And we have claims on them. Of course we do. Get all of the troops in one place, and what I'm going to do at the very start is to stack wipe the army. I'm just thinking which place. Okay, they are. Yeah, they can't go anywhere. They, they have forts like everywhere around them, so it should not be a problem to to stack wipe the troops. Norway, Bohemia, Nuremberg, and Dithmarschen. I can be helped by, by Denmark and Munster. Let's do it. This will be the war goal. Yeah, did that siege, go and stack with the rest of the army, great. Uh, get out of those guys. These... And these guys are going out of the fort, so on the fort is just artillery and my mercenaries. These guys are just staying next to it. So right now, if I declare war on Poland, just Saxony would be helping them. Why Saxony doesn't want to help me? They are in debt, so if I send them some money... Like something like this. Can I send you money when I I can't right now? Because I'm running deficit by having clones. That's not a problem. I can just uh, decrease my morale for a little bit. Now I can send you some money. 
the next month yes come on come on come on come on oh, I still okay let's turn off maybe uh, this one forward yes right now come on also is the new holy emperor oh come on guys I want to send a freaking gift okay never mind never mind yeah I will take care of that later oh uh, yeah at the end of the war okay now I need to unite my troops in one place because they might think they might attack me no you can't guys I'm going to crush you so don't even think about it yes as I thought so once again let's get all of those guys yeah but the leader the leader needs to stay come on let's get the leader back to the siege I hate this um free siege leader let's get the first diplomatic we are getting this infantry combat ability really soon really soon let's get maybe speed 4 uh, speed 5 might be a little bit too fast for what we want to do okay so I'm going to take those what the freaking freak I'm going to take down this fort and I'm going to go back to Denmark, hide here, turn off my armies and get Saxon into the war by giving them some money. That's the plan. Okay. Okay. I will just unite here. Uh, turn off those. Turn off those. All of the three of, of the force. Get sp fr free speed. Yes, and now I should be able to send gifts to Saxony. Not possible to do that. Once again, wait one more month. Yeah, now I can send them a gift. Let's send them 150 bucks. Ducats. Now I can call them into the war. Yes. I can turn on the forts. I can turn on the army. And now we can play. Now when I declare war on Poland, you can see that nobody will help them. That was the plan. So this war will just go by itself. I, I My allies will win it for me. So what I need to do is to recruit a little bit more of the armies, like 2,000 of mercenaries. Um, yes, 2,000 of mercenaries. And I'm going to attack Poland and crush Poland right now. So this war, this war is all right. We, we are outnumbering them slightly. My allies will help me. We are have we have sticking war score. Poland is at war with the Ottomans. So okay, we will give Poland a little bit to you know, just go uh, go into the Ottoman lands, lose a lot of manpower there, and then we attack. We will just backstab them and delete their armies. Let's take the next economic idea. So soon we are getting this. Okay, let's maybe wait. Yeah, they united with me. Let's maybe if we if we take the capital of Bohemia, if we take capital of Bohemia, we should be able to white piece them out of the, out of the war. Or just we want just to break the relations with Poland. Are they still allied to Poland? Poland is allied to them. Yeah, still an alliance. That's just right. I I can go with those troops to the to second four. That's not a problem. We have just four loans. That's not you as you could see in the. In the last war, having a few loans is nothing that should stop you from winning. Okay, so I'm going to piece out uh, Bohemia quickly. I'm going to break the alliance with Poland, and it's just easy. Let's just hope that they're not coming for with those. Oh, yeah, let's just hope. Yes, yeah, playing on speed five has some min minuses. This is one of them. I just you could see, I couldn't do anything about it, this battle. Let's go back here. Now I have, I'm on speed four, so if they try to attack me, I have troops and just next ne next to next doors. I could say. Fifty-seven percent. Poland is no longer a great power. Uh, they are getting really beaten, I think, in this war. Lithuania would help them right now. Hmm. Uh, they are helping them. So maybe if both of those nations will get uh, exhausted by the war against the Ottomans. Will be a little bit easier. I can take my time. I can piece out Bohemia in the meantime. That's right. The troops of Poland. Lithuania has 37,000 troops. Poland has 
40,000. For us, that's, that's way too much for me. What about the Ottomans? The Ottomans have 75,000, so they should be deleting them. That's 75%, come on, okay, that's Praha taken. Uh, I can change my, not outrage, but neighborhood. Okay, let's go farther. That's 51% of the wars. What about the wars against Bohemians? 39. Break relations with Poland. That's what I want to take. Or maybe not this, but I will take war reparations. War reparations would be great. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's a long way to go. So maybe go there. I'll just occupy two more provinces. They, they should be accepting that, I think. It should be enough, just getting those two. Let's see. Now I have 40% of the war score, 57 against 61. So I, yeah, I think it will be just uh, ongoing battle. When the ongoing battle ends here, yes. And I get this one more province, 57 against 60. So let's take, maybe take uh, this one more province. Uh, okay. They should be accepting right now. Yes, they are. Just a little bit more of the money. Send the demands. Now, unite the troops somewhere over here. You outnumbering them really much, as I think. Yeah! So, what I'm going to do now, right now, is just declare war on Poland. So, East Lithuania. Uh, yeah, the Lithuania wants to help them. I don't care. Let's just go. Let's go. We can do this, guys. I can take uh, one more loan. Build two more thousand of mercenaries. We need to be way over our force limit to to win a war against Poland. I'm going aggressive, uh, and it should be alright. Let's get uh, Cavalli out of the siege, and the rest of the troops will be standing next by. Yeah, Twenty thousand, it's okay. Mm, okay, so who would help them from my? So both Saxony and Denmark would help them when I peace out. Pomerania. They would just accept the call for the war. So that's why I'm not peacing out Pomerania right now. I I can't peace them out before peacing out Poland. And as you can see, it's going quickly thanks to our great uh, leader with free siege. So let's do this. Let's do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Poland is losing to the Ottomans in the meantime. Are they? Minus 14%. Yeah, Lithuania is taking care of the Ottomans. So I think both of, the, of those guys' armies should know should not fight against me. They should be focused on the on the Ottomans. So that's why I have a chance of winning here. Okay, that's 64. Okay, the fort is down. I'm going... I could be going to Warszawa, but no. Let's get to Hola first. Why? Uh, because remember that we want to get Krulevitz. Or maybe not. Go to Płock. Go to Płock. We, we, we will take uh, the, the capital first. War army professionals, that's good. We will use that for getting some manpower out of it. I can definitely break those walls because you can see the amount of military points that I have. 700. I can use it. Uh, well, I don't care about this. We have 88% of the war score here, but as you can remember, I can't piece them out for now. And those, this little stack of 6,000 just getting the provinces nearby, and the second one, oh. Oh no, 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 my leader just died. Yeah. Good. Good, 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 we have a new one. Just, let's just go. Go on this province, get the leader, to come back with free siege leader, amazing. Thank you so much, game. Okay, those troops were just standing next to them. Yeah, I can see the Lithuanian troops already running around. So we should be careful. We should be careful, Lithuania is already here. Uh, how about the troops? It's like... Um, war enemies. 46... Oh my god. I was so much numbers here. Oh my god. Let's just stick together. I have a way better army quality. Yeah, you can see 3.4, 3.4, no discipline. Let's use it. You can see that they already running around with a lot of troops. So let's unite all of my all of my armies in one place. Those twenty thousand. Let's get the provinces. Yeah. Oh my God, you're going to lose so much for the Ottomans if you just go after me. That's a stupid decision. Let's take the capital because as you remember, the oh no, no not this one. As you remember, the only thing that I need from this war is Krulevitz. 
to form Prussia. Of course, the best would be to get Gdańsk and Krulewicz, which is 33% of the war score. That's alright, we can do this. And especially that we are getting this infantry combat ability right now, so... Oh, what is the, the idea that Poland taken? Humanism and straight. Yeah, that's why the army is just a piece of shit. Okay, let's rush it. They are trying to defend wars right now with 30,000 troops. This battle will be amazing. Let's get speed 2. They, ah, oh, they went here without the leader. Oh, okay. It's looking pretty good for us. We're just deleting them. Yeah, we are. With those 17,000, they, they would definitely win the battle. They are coming slowly. I don't know if they will be able to get here on time. No, they are not coming anywhere anymore. But this 9,000 is going to reinforce in a few days. Uh, but they will. 0. Point, no, they, they will just stack wipe. I'm going to stack wipe this 9,000 probably. Uh, oh no, I, would, I will win, but not a, not stuck by them. Yeah, they have just they just outnumbered me so much. Come on, this, they have so many reinforcements. And this seventeen thousand, if they come, they might just. My God, Poland has so many troops. Poland has so many troops. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's more troops reinforcing. Okay, get more loans. Get more armies for myself. Yeah, come on! I just want to take down Warsaw. Come on! Do not come to me. Fourteen, and this might go down before they they attack me. Come on! You might go down. Yes, yes. You have twenty-eight percent of war score right now. They are not accepting this. Uh, they are not accepting this yet. Not yet. Can I run away somehow? I can. Let's try getting out of the devil's nest. Okay, let's now let's start with this. They are going to back to war, so they'll be trying to re recover it. Okay, let's just come back home, get more troops, and try defending it. Okay, that's the next idea group. I might finish economic ideas. Let's get it. And I have the first. This might be useful. Get out of the, all of the troops into one place. And we might try fighting them right now. Even with so freaking outnumbered. How close are they? 45 against 69. So it, what we can do is trust, try occupying maybe province or two. See what happens. Why are you not fighting the Ottomans? Come on guys. Oh, how many loans do we have? Okay, we can take more, get more mercenaries. Yeah, we, we need to take a risk over here. Uh, I don't need this fort anymore and this one. Maybe I will bait them to come here. Oh. They have so many troops here. It's like 40, 60,000 troops. They have all of the troops on this place, aren't they? Yeah, it's practically the whole army trying to fight me. Um... Muse, they're just pissed out, or just that's nothing that is um, really. Oh my god, this is something that is really not funny. We just lost the the war, so the capital. I'm going to just run away. Come on, run away. I'm going to rush Warsaw right now. Yeah, once again, extend the loan. I can call my allies. Come on, Muster, you can hold me here. I need your help. Okay, how many defenders do you have? Two ha So I can actually rush it. Come here, do this. Shift consolidate. Come on, go down. Okay. It's 30% of the war score. Still not enough. It's like 50 against 63. What about pissing out Lithuania? How close are we to piss you out? Not really close. Let's just start occupying the provinces around. Yeah, I need the armies to split. If they stick together, I can't do anything. If they... Oh, seriously. If they start splitting their troops, I'm going to crush them. But only if they start splitting their troops. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I wanted to take Dice and Krulevitz. And they accept the Krulevitz itself. I'm taking it. I can't really do more. I can break the relations with Lithuania, I think. No, I can't. Um... Let's wait a month. It's, it's right. Can wait a month. Ok, 
Okay, they're starting to split the troops. I'm going to I'm going to use it. Um, first of all, let's try 49. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try. Let's try going to defend Kolberg. Win a battle. And we'll see what happens. Now they're going to try to occupy this province. I'm not letting them. Those are woods. Uh, can I catch them? Not truly. Really. No, I just need to push piece them out. Yeah, without those breaking relations I can I can get some money. Yeah, to repay my loans. Send the demand. Great, great, good, good. Now I can just delete the mercenaries. Go here. Core the province. And we should be able to form Prussia, I think. Yeah, I just need to core uh, Kingsburg and we'll be able to form Prussia. So turn off the forts. Turn off the army. And let's start repaying the loans. We just have 800 of that. It's just like nothing. I can piece out uh, some of the other nations right now. Um... I have a lot of war score against, oh my god, against Norway. We can get a lot of money for them. We can uh, force, we can't force Legion. Alright. Send it. Uh, same with this little nation. Let's get speed 4. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. So you can see how much we can do in 20 years. Just um, Augsburg, Pomerania, okay. Send it. From Pomerania we are going to take two provinces for ourselves. It's money. Great. We can repay one loan. We can we will be able to start coining the provinces. Those are reform zealots. I should take care of them, but to do that I need to turn on my army. And blah blah blah. Just wait, get speed five. Uh, do I have any mission new mission? Yeah, that's the uh, Oh, West Prussia. Those are claims on Poland, I think. Yeah. Just go after them. That should be easy. Queen, excellent. Are out of. No. Uh, core this province right now. New draperies. More income for us. Take down this. Core. And we'll be repaying our loan and forming Prussia. When we form Prussia. A lot of events. When we form Prussia. We will end the episode. It will be almost exactly one hour as I see. So perfect. Perfect. We can get a new rival. Can it be Poland? Yeah, let's get Poland on our rival. Um, yeah, I decided to do a crazy stuff. So attack Poland. As you could see, we managed to do that thanks to declaring other wars and preventing allies of Poland to help them. And I just... It, it, was, it was amazing. I like it. I like how, how it went. I can get an advisor for improved relations, I think. Because I didn't check my Agus expansion right now. It should be a lot, is it? No, it's not. It's like 30. Yeah, it's up to 30, right? Alliance breaking from Saxony because I'm allied to... They are allied to my rival Poland. And I'm allied to their rival Bavaria. Let's get a royal marriage. Now it should be alright, yeah. Now it's right, our relations just improved. Nothing to be worried about. There is Konigsberg. So what they're going to do is to form Prussia. Great. Amazing. So we form Prussia. So from a really bad situation, we went to this. So Prussia. Right now we can see in a second we should be getting the should be getting the, um, the institution. So that's just right. Mm, new rival would be Lithuania, I think. Okay, so we can finish on that. You can see the in income increased significantly. Uh, our army stats, so even more. Technologists are ahead. We are getting the institution. Not really a long time from from this point. Just 600 of that is just like nothing. So, thank you guys very much for watching. I am happy to be back with those series. And see you.